All right, hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, today we have an exceptional band, Sea Haven. Uh, the album we're looking at today is Ghost. Um, now, right off the bat, I gotta tell you guys, this isn't the first. This isn't the album that I was first exposed to when coming across Sea Haven. Um, my friend Zach, he kind of showed me uh, this other album, which is called Winter Forever, and basically. I only heard like two or three songs off that album, and it it definitely gave me a good like uh, impression of the band. And yeah, forever grateful because this band is the sheets. Now we're gonna check it out. The first song we're looking at is Plague, and uh, we don't have the lyrics on here, but I'll look them up in a second. So, my, this is, um, this is pretty much the first time I'm hearing the band, or not the band, the album, and, uh, trying to figure out how I feel about it. Um, I think this is one of their, like, older ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This is old. It's 2010. Um, that was like almost seven years ago. Yeah, about seven years ago. Like, sheesh. And definitely hear how they changed their style. Because it's a lot more rough. And it resembles a lot more of. What's that band? Balance and Composure. Those, this is the band I would definitely match up with Sea with Sea Heaven or Balance of Composure, which is kind of funny because when I first saw Sea Haven, which I, I saw them, uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you've seen Sea Haven or Balance of Composure, or if you're at the show, because uh, I was in Austin and I was back in like November 2014, and yeah, if you were there, leave a comment. But that's uh, that was a concert that I first saw Sea Haven. Um, I hadn't seen them live before then, and yeah, it was pretty rad. Um, it was kind of a tough time because all my exes were there, <laughs> but uh, um, I, I don't know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you forgive and you forget, you know? But uh, yeah, so this song is pretty good. It's pretty rough. Uh, a lot more rougher than Winter Forever. In Winter Forever, it was a lot more, a lot more uh, sadness in his voice rather than anger, which is kind of sucky. I think you can do a lot more with anger than you can with sadness, in my opinion. Um, but at the same time, anger makes you really uh, resentful and kind of uh, how what's the best word for it? Like. It makes you make bad decisions instead of like you know handling it with like a, uh, a face of stride and just chill out and you know figure it out that way. But uh, this is really rough. I wasn't expecting it to be this rough for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought Sea Heaven would be softer as I went back into the time, but it's it's not. It's about as old as I think it would get. Um. So let's talk about this first impression. Uh, my first impression of this is that uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's a lot more rougher than expected, and I can definitely understand why people who listen to Balance of Composure are automatically drawn into the bands like Sea Haven, or just into Sea Haven in general, because Honestly, Sea Haven sounds really, really so close to to bouncing poetry in these days. It makes so much sense. All right, so the next song we're looking at is Birds. Now I don't know any of the the lyrics. I'm gonna look it up. But uh, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section if you have like a favorite album from Sea Haven, um, or Bounce and Composure, I might add. Uh, because for me, I think uh, 
this versus Winter Forever. Probably gonna pick Winter Forever just because I know it longer. I liked it first. And there's a nostalgia. Also, you can't really hear the way he sings. We're gonna talk about this in a second, but you can't really hear it when uh, the way he's singing in this album, which is kind of sucky because I really love that that uh, that dialect he has, and you can really it's really distinct in 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 his in when when he sings. I don't know how he, he gets away with it. Usually, people who have accents. You can't really hear their accent in their. Uh, when they sing, and I might be mistaken because it seems like they're from California, but maybe not everyone in the band's from California. This sounds a little like Irish or something. Poopy time with this, with these lyrics. But uh, okay. All right, sorry guys, this is taking a second. Let's go. All right, so I do have a title track, which is pretty cool. I. I'm putting on EP soon, and I do. I also have an EP, an album track, which is pretty fun. An album title track is what it, is the term for it. Oh my God! All right, so that's not working. Um, while we're, while this is taking forever, uh, let me see. Oh, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna forget about the lyrics. I, it's not, it's not giving me the time of day. Band similarities. Um, Sea Haven didn't really come across to me as one of those bands that was like, oh, Automatically, it's this band. Um, I guess listening to this album completely is kind of quite the opposite. Immediately, definitely hear Bounce and Composure. Son of a bitch. And, um,. I can't think of any other band that they remind me of. It's kind of it's definitely amongst the pop punk region. I hate to use the word generic, but it's kind of what this album is kind of coming off as. Like, they're good in this album, but it's just not... I can't really hear what makes this band Sea Haven. Like, it might as well be some other random pop-punk band that I could care less about. Because it's not really like a... there's nothing... To, to remember them by. Which is really sad to say. Because if I was talking about... If I was talking about... Like... 
If I li listened to Winter for Heaven and done this, it would have been told a different story. Alright, so found the lyrics. Now let's, let's look at some of these lyrics. Alright, so you'll be the smoke in my mouth. I'll suck you in, I'll push you out. And then you'll disappear and turn into something else. You're just a little mouth drowned to my organ, burning hot. Get too close, your little body is going to multiply. Okay, so there's not really much complexity, and there's not really much to, like, there's no hook. I feel like I'm just bagging on this album, and like, you know, oh my god, you're being so rude, there was your first album. I'm sorry, but honestly, if this channel didn't have a little bit of variety of me, like, finding bands that I really like at first glance, that I've never heard before, and then, you know, that contrast to be like, I've heard this band before, but this album was not as good. It, it, it brings in, you know, it, it gives this channel color. Like, it would be so boring if I just liked every band, had something nice to every band. It would just get over repetitive and y'all wouldn't, y'all would want to come back. You know, I would just be like, well, this person's obviously going to like any band we show them. What's the point? And it'd be the same thing if I didn't like all the bands. If I just talk shit about all these bands. But I think, honestly, if I had talk, if I just talk shit to, like, about all these bands, y'all would be like, yeah! Or it would just stir up so much more. Hmm. Gives me an idea. Maybe we should start bagging on a bunch of bands for no reason. <laughs> nah, I probably won't do that, but... Anyway. You were the flood that hit this city and you carried me away. You gave me a constant within your flow before you dried up and left me empty. <clears throat> You are camouflaged, but you can't hide much. Is this a wolf, or is this my fingernails changing shape? <laughs> what? They're here, then gone like birds while I'm stuck on the ground. Okay, I kind of understand, but not really. Okay, so right off the bat, I would tell you that these band, this band is a love and loss band. Um, I could have told you that just from listening to, like... Winter Forever, but we're not talking. We're not here for Winter Forever. We're here, Ghost, and clearly when he says you were the flood that hit the city and you carried me away, like obviously it's like a euphemism for I fell for you, which is something you say when you love someone. Uh, usually, someone who says I love someone is like, oh yeah, I've fallen for you. So, yeah. This song we listened to right now is called Bottled. And all these songs are so, so very generic and it's kind of making me sick. But onwards, because I kind of want to get through the album and like, I want to find at least one song that sticks. Because I definitely want to have a favorite song. Bam, bam. Okay. So this one's coming to an end here. And we are getting close to the end as well. Um, I'm gonna look up to the lyrics. Bottled. Let's see. Haven. All right. So, a phone call to turn you into a machine. You've got less than ten minutes to save the one from which you were made. And even promising words are not enough to promise for you. You need to feel the best, the beat of life within her chest, so you can feel it again too. Okay. These vices, these double as a reason for the way we feel, the way we do. Solitude in a family-filled room. And I, I, I wish they could see the impact me and the children that they raised. So this is kind of some coming up as like more details from like a bad marriage or like uh, the view of a child of a divorce. Um, it's the kind of vibes it's giving me. Skip through. So 
So this album is very, very angry. Alright, so I'm just skipping through some of these songs so I can have a good idea of which band, which song I like. Alright, so right off the bat, I can tell you that I think my favorite track off this album would be Love. Um, uh, it's really more, it's probably one of the most fun of all the songs. Yeah. It's kind of like 80s rock ish esque. So, yeah. Um, I give this album a, a 2 out of 5. Um, mostly because I it was really generic. There was nothing really memorable about it. Uh, it's not bad, but it's also like it feels dragged on, which is kind of miserable to sit through quite frankly. But yeah, uh, if you like this album, leave a comment in the comment section, tell me about how my opinion is terrible and how I should probably listen to the album more and maybe it'll grow on me type of stuff. Uh, and if you like this video, give a bit of a If you like people who can't talk right, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.